yep, that would be enough in today for today. Thank you. Right, guys, so for today's video, we are going to watch Star Wars The Last Jedi, which has came out by the time this video has been recorded today, which is 14th of December. We're going to be going to watch it. Uh, I would have much preferred to go to the IMAX to watch it, but obviously due to travel and reasons and timing, that's not a possible at the moment. So let's get right to it. Fortunate uh, accomplices for this movie are Jack Rick, Jack Kelly, and Lucas Turton, how are you Lucas Turton? Fuck off. <laughs> 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 and here we are at Odeon. I'm in another Star Wars another thing. It's a Stormtrooper. Hello Stormtrooper, how are you today mate? It's alright. Jack, it's a Stormtrooper. Look at it. <laughs> right. Look at how bent he is posing with a Stormtrooper. <laughs> Look how bad Turt is, so he's even so true. Right, so we're on, and we are in the cinema at the moment. Where it is currently. Jack Kelly, what time is it? It is. Too slow. It is 6 14, so 15 more minutes to go, and then the movie starts, and we have a kid. Oh. <laughs> we have a kid there enjoying his lightsaber. They turn it around. And then we have Lucas enjoying his life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless the turtle. And then Jack, Jack Rick, he's going to get his food. There he is. Oh, oh, okay, he's made the wrong order once again. What a mong. Right, and now I will see you after the movie. That was amazing. Oh, my God. That movie was sick. Was brilliant. Jack Rick, what oh, about your opinion? Did. I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was oh, quite emotional. Oh, the black Jedi. The nigga. <laughs> Unbelievable. But well, that movie was far better than most. We got our uh, two two free posters. I'm fucking crying. But that Don't film was definitely better than The Force Awakens. Like, wow, I have no words for it whatsoever. It's got I just can't unbelieve it. Everything's Wow. I'm just lost for words, so I'll get back to when I get back home and I'm calm because Oh, I'm just lost for words at the moment, guys. Right, yo, everyone, we're back at home, and I'm still shell shocked about Star Wars The Last Jedi. So, I think I will end up talking about spoilers. So, this will be like a spoiler re review. So, if you don't want to like get spoiled, click off this video, and, and then you can watch this again when you've watched the video. So, let's jump into it. So, First of all, the oh, there's all sorts I could talk about. Mark Hamill's return as Luke Skywalker has been like, what's the word? It's been anticipated to be really good, and it gave me quite a shocking twist to it. Like, Star that's what Star Wars: The Last Jedi is literally going to be: twist, shocks, left, right, and center, and yeah, I'd. I'll spoil some minor details, but remember this is a spoiler review, so I wouldn't advise watching it. Right, so, basically, Snoke, he he is really, in the movie he was portrayed to be quite powerful, until Kylo Ren ended his life, which, which I found a bit surprising, because I didn't expect it, I thought Snoke would have clicked on, but obviously he didn't, because Kylo Ren had killed him. Like, sliced him in half. <laughs> and for once, no arm got chopped off. One thing that I'm kind of disappointed, disappointed about is Rey's heritage. So, in the movie, it's been revealed that she's... <clears throat> her parents are nobodies. And that they are just, like, like, sold her for, like, drinking and alcohol and stuff which I found a bit disappointing to be fair unless the unless Ryan Johnson's thrown a red hair in it or and it's gonna be like revealed um in the next movie but bang Han and Solo and Princess Laser parents but I doubt that I hardly doubt it um but yeah back to the actual character uh, talk so ryan johnson he has done a very 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 good job i can't stress how much of a good job he's done 
he's he's kept it true to the Star Wars saga. The only fresh thing I found with the humour, and it's like more like the Guardians of the Galaxy kind of humour, if you get me. Um, just it, <laughs> just. Well, it, it didn't feel like Star Wars. I'm sorry, I'm moving about. I need to try and get comfy because I don't really have that comfy at all. But uh, we'll talk about we'll talk about characters. So Ray, Daisy Ridley, great job as as expected. She's shown the she's shown off Ray's like struggle and learning towards the. Jedi and her eagerness and how she feels lost. And who's another talking point? Finn. John Boyega, once again, great job. That's to be honest what I'm going to be saying about everyone else. So if you want to make a drinking game out of me saying great job, go for it. Carrie Fisher is her last proper performance of Leia. It's been very good. She hasn't. She hasn't died like I thought she would, which is good, but not because I, I think they've said they aren't gonna include her at all in the next Star Wars. So I think they're just they're just gonna write her off, which is gonna be a bit sad, really. And Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker, just brilliant. I loved every scene he was in. So like from the Kylo Ren lightsaber scene, well. <laughs> I, I guess you could call it Kylo Ren just flinging his lightsaber about, and uh, and then Luke's last scene, which is which he dies and passes away. It's quite sad, but I guess that's what Disney are going for. I didn't expect Luke to die at all, really. But one surprise that really shocks me to my core: Yoda. Like, Master Yoda came back as a force ghost. Like, I just saw his green ears and I was like, Is that Yoda? No way. And then I just met him the other day. Like, that's bad, really. But, yeah. Wow. And then Poe Dameron. He's shown great character development in the movie. At first, he was like a reckless odd solo. And then he was more of a calm, general kind of person. And Star Wars did do a good. Star Wars did do Luke Skywalker good towards the power scene. They showed him to be quite powerful, I guess. Because basically, what Luke's done, he's not left Mark II at all. Uh, what he's done is that he's made an illusion of himself, drawn Kylo Ren out so the, Rebe so the resistance can escape. While Ray helps him bust it, while Ray helps bust him out with the new powers, and yeah, Luke basically trolls Kylo Ren throughout, makes Kylo Ren play with his lightsaber around for nothing. But yeah, it's just crazy. And what's another scene that we could talk about? Laura Dern's performance is general. Hopkins or whatever she's called. She she weren't really that memorable. I just remember her being a as what I think she was meant to be, a bitch towards everyone else, but really she has she was a good girl, you could say. And also Benicio del Toro's character, as expected, he was a sneaky snake character. And that's all I could say. He he did put on a good humorous performance, I guess. Didn't get to see much of him. I was hoping for the night of rent to be explained more, but they didn't. But I do tell you what, the lightsaber battles were brilliant. Ray kind of went against the guards, I forgot what they're called. But the choreograph was so brilliant, and Ray and Johnson's done a great job of that. Frank Oz returned as Yoda, brilliant. Uh. Chewbacca, um, Chewbacca don't really have much of a role, but yet he does. BB-8, actually. BB-8 was brilliant in this movie, once again. Like, he, he himself could, he himself might as well battle the resistance. No, no, resistance. That's who he works for. Uh, he might as well battle the First Order alone. He might as well take out the rain on him. So, no, I reckon he can do that. But, yeah, it's just me rambling on for... 
Got a few m minutes. I'm surprised how long I'm taking, to be honest. Well, it's currently on seven and a half minutes. <laughs> wow. Um, but yeah. All sorts went down. The sharks, the twists, everything. It was just brilliant. Oh, and Captain Phasma against Finn. To be fair, I did like that. Finn just clocking it around Joe. Brilliant. Actually, another bit I will add in. Leia suddenly uses the force to save a set. Like, I was really shocked by that. So I'd say the top three shocks. No, I'd say the five main shocks of that movie were Leia and force to save herself. Luke. Um, Luke using his vision against Kylo Ren and like how it, it all actually went down between Kylo Ren and Luke before. Turns out that Luke was in was to were like in conflict about whether to kill Kylo because he he knew that Snoke were gaining control over him. Ray's parents being nobodies, and Luke dying and Master Yoda. The five shocks there, so I think that is it. But yeah. Lightsaber battles were on point this time, and it was definitely not Empire Strikes Back rehash. I don't believe so anyway. I don't know what the rest of Star Wars community thinks, but I believe it was fresh and still good. I can't wait for episode 9 now. Hopefully J.J. Abrams didn't do another rehash. But, yeah, I think overall, that movie gets... Uh, I'd say a 9.5 out of 10. No, no, I'll push it up to a 10. Be nice for Star Wars, seeing this it's for Jolly Other Days. So, yeah, 10 out of 10 the film gets from me. I'm sorry that for some of you, this review might just be me rambling on. And to be honest, you guys might not like it at all. And probably clicked off by now. If you've stayed with me to this point, I really do appreciate it. This was one take. I'll let you guys know, so... Oh, basically making stuff up. But, yeah, that is it for the video today, guys. Remember to like and subscribe. Do give the movie a look. I know some of you guys might not be Star Wars fans, but Star Wars is brilliant. And some might call it immature and embarrassing, but you just ignore them. Lock out the haters, as they say. Anyway, don't... Anyway, just remember to like and subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and I'll see you guys later. Have a lovely day, guys. See ya.